everyone. Um, I don't usually do this, but I really love this new line. So I thought if you were interested in it and you haven't seen it yet, that you might appreciate uh, this little video just showing you what this line looks like. So this is 49 and Market. It's new Art Options Rouge line by Katie Pertiet. It is probably my favorite 49 and Market to date. Um, I don't even know, it, it's gorgeous. So if you're into brighter hues, the reds and greens in here are absolutely stunning. Um, so I thought I would take a second to show you. I didn't buy everything in the kit. It comes with a lot, a lot of stuff, but I had to kind of control myself and not go and get everything possible. But what I did buy was um, this collection pack, obviously. I did also pick up the laser cut wildflowers, which I'll we'll take a look at. And then they have this new kit that is basically allows you to make stacks. Um, and so I will show you what I did with that kit. And it is just gorgeous. So let's just, let's take a look at the papers first. So this is the paper kit and it comes with eight double-sided pages. And then they use the back of their cover page quite cleverly and include a whole bunch of elements that you can fussy cut. So. That's awesome. But just look at the gorgeous hues on this paper. So you can use this um, for Valentine, obviously. I think maybe that was their timing, but you can use it for just about anything. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And I love the way they do the front and the back. So the front is usually um, the sort of pattern with the flowers, and then there's kind of a bit of a more neutral on the black, on the back. You've got this one, just love that. And you can turn this any way you like. So, so there's like a nice plaid, simple plaid on the back, more. So you don't, I mean, I love the B-sides too. Look at this heart shape, isn't that gorgeous? So I love the B-sides, but I'm so glad they don't put this, the pattern on both sides. So I can use um, the beautiful beautiful patterns and designs that they come up with these artists are just amazing so i have such an appreciation for this stuff okay so that's the paper collection kit and it's absolutely stunning so i just want to show you the rouge laser cut wildflowers so i got these because i love making stacks and this will be great this kit comes with absolutely everything washi tape fabric tape um, you name it. They have a couple of new things too, but um, I just decided that I would keep it simple. And you guys know me, I like to make a lot of my own embellishments, but this time I folded and I bought their uh, cluster kit. So the cluster kit is amazing. And I bought it more to curiosity to see if I could sort of teach me some things about making clusters. But these are the clusters that I made with the kit. So here is the first one. And I'm just bringing it close up so you can see all the different textures and layers on that. And so, I mean, you basically can make a layout. Like, all you need to do is create a cluster, grab one of your papers, and just lay that out. And that's it. Your layout is finished. You can use these clusters in albums, too. Although they're a little bit thicker. Um, but if you want to do them in an album, you can probably... Here I've used some foam tape, but, you know... You can just absolutely skip the foam tape and, and just do them a little flatter. So just, just stunning. Let me show you a few more and I'm just trying to get a piece of paper here so I can kind of, you can see like what you can do with the clusters. Look at that, done, your layout's done. So there's one that I made. And so the first ones I'm showing you are the ones that come, they don't come with the kit. The kit just has a photo on the front that shows you um, ideas of what you can do. So first thing I did was use all the materials in the kit to make the suggested clusters, right? So this is what I ended up with. So I made this one, which holds two photos. And these are just, I left these open so when I'm ready, I can tuck my pictures in. So there's a second one, okay? Okay, and then also these two smaller pieces. So these are the ones that were pictured on the cover page of the kit. And so I just went ahead and copied these. And then I had enough leftovers in the kit to make some more clusters of my own. So I made this one and like it comes with all these little things. Like here's this little clip, so cute. So I made one of these and then here's another one that I made just from the leftovers and 
one more for good measure. And these are just, they're so beautiful. They add so much to the page. And then I even had a bit of leftovers. So, you know, I've got some bits of ephemera left. I've got some clips. I have some buttons. Um, the kit also comes with this twine so that's left over as well so it's well worth it at least to get it one time because not only was it just all the materials in the kit but also you know showing me how to create these clusters which is a little bit new for me I have some chipboard left over too this was in the kit so lots and lots of stuff anyways guys I just wanted to share that with you I will be dreaming up some kind of a project with this I can definitely see something like this on the front cover of a, a little mini album or folio so stay tuned for that thanks for watching guys uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already and most importantly if you have any comments please leave them for me below because I just love reading them anyways have a great day and I'll talk to you guys soon